Hi, my name is Marie. Hi, my name is Marie Gomez. Really nice city life, isn't it? 77% of the whole people in Germany are living in cities and metropolitan areas. Of course, this can get pretty tight in the long run, especially if we also want to reduce carbon dioxide in the future, for example by cycling more. Truly, this also means less space for cars and thus new challenges. What about the many transporters? Medicines have to go to the pharmacy, baked goods to the branch, and we all want to be supplied too, right? In Germany, 4 billion parcels are sent every year. That's about 100 packages per household. Certainly, it would be smart not to deliver them all in vans. They're clutching our streets. We want to take a close look at this problem or the solution to the problem. That's why I'm meeting Niels now. He works at Breitel, a joint venture of the Kroning Holding and the Orbitec AG. So a lot of experience in the field of logistics are given. With Breitel, new ground in the last mile delivery has been established since 2017. Niels, I just mentioned the term last mile delivery. What does that actually mean? For Breitel, this means that we develop solutions and a wide variety of products for sustainable and future mobility. Our products include smart cargo bikes, interchangeable boxes, micro depots, telematics, sensors and our own software. And part of our customers really include the big logistic companies. But now, of course, also other sectors that want to revolutionize something. But cities and municipalities are also questioning their processes and, of course, trying to find more sustainable, ecological solutions and transport routes. Sounds really great and you've made me very curious. May I try one of your cargo bikes? Marie, certainly. Cool. Of course, there are various options for this last mile, such as this tree liner here. Everything that is having electric support is clearly smart. Well, you can transport more weight and everything that is smaller than a classic van does make sense, right? But let's face it, a lot has also happened with the cargo bikes. For this reason, I'm meeting with Alexander and Thomas. They both work within the production development at Rydl and I hope to learn a bit more about the latest innovations from them. Hi, Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi. Great fleet though. This is really big. Is this still a bicycle? This is an electrically assisted bike actually. We developed the mover to ultimately enable last mile transport. Did you patent anything of this? We have patented the open cargo bay. This is the rear area of the vehicle where you sort of slide in the box. Exactly, and this box is then picked up by a fork and a linear motor moves it up. At the same time, the box is secured in the upper area. I would really like to try out the mover. That means I'll drive on with it straight away and I'll leave the tri liner there for you. Sure, enjoy. Cargo bikes are nothing new, but this mover here is certainly special and very easy to drive. The biggest feature, however, is this exchangeable box behind me. And hopefully, I'll find out from Johannes what this is all about now. He's developing global strategies and is keeping an eye on the worldwide implementation of the holistic ride solution. I've got a transport box with me. It probably has to go in here, doesn't it? Our holistic system at Rital also includes the city hub. The interesting thing is that it can be used here as a micro depot. This means that in the external warehouse, groceries or parcels, for example, are pre-picked and packed into boxes. Those boxes are transported within the hub and will be lowered down and located into the urban area. And the system must also be very interesting to customers worldwide. Absolutely. We interact on many different continents in many different countries. Simply and summarize as the challenges of the last mile can be seen everywhere. What about digitalization? Is that a challenge affecting you too? Talking about a holistic solution clearly does not only include hardware, but of course also the software. But I would like to refer to my colleague Daniel, one of the heads of our software team. Okay, great. I definitely want to meet him. The principle is clear, but the combination with digital logistics seems to be the game changer. And what processes are running in the background and above all, what advantages this brings, we are now looking at together with Daniel. Daniel, I would like to learn more about your software from you. Our software continuously provides up-to-date information about the vehicles driven and this information can be used to increase the operating times of the vehicles and on the other hand, planning processes can be based on this information. 
Informationen aufgebaut. Is it then also possible to check data such as where the mover is currently located? That is a very important function indeed that you can see live where the vehicle is at the moment and then of course you can calculate for example how long the vehicle still needs to reach a certain receiving location. Thank you Daniel for this exciting insight. I really had a great day and took a lot with me. And yes, in the end, I'll think I'll do a little extra round with the mover. Bye! Certainly, it was clear to me that cycling in the city has many advantages. But I was really surprised how much potential there is actually within the area of logistics. I'm so excited to see what else will happen. With innovative solutions like Rital, we are definitely on the right track to meet the challenges of the last mile. And clearly, being more sustainable and efficient. Let's Rital the cities! Daddy, what is that? That's the future.